Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of... Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's two of them. Okay. Uh, back off. Back, uh, you know what? Fine. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time we're playing Antarctica 88, which is... Yeah, let's use that. Which is heavily inspired by The Thing. We're going to be at a station called Antarctica 1, I believe. And we are going to be trying to find out what happened to the crew after they unearthed some strange things under the surface of the ice. And you guys know how much I like cold settings. You guys know how much I love The Thing as a franchise. And I'm already pretty much sold. So, okay, pick up shotgun. Got it. Break the lattice above the large container. Okay, hang on. Can I open you? Sweet. All right. Ooh, physics. Okay. And we're already uh, going kind of just all out at this. All right, find a way to the surface. Let's go. Uh, what? Oh. Hello, weird tick mite looking thing. Okay. I think I went the wrong way. Oh boy. You know, I, I am noticing that I actually do have a limit on my ammo supply. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So this this was actually just a dead end good. Uh, I was saying, I know I have a limit on my ammo supply, so I kind of hope I don't end up like running into issues here. No melee, which is surprising to me. There's no melee button. Ah, uh, what do we think? You know what, let's stick to the outside wall first. Can always come back here. Is there anything up here? Nope, that's just a horrifying little hole for things to come crawling out of. Uh, oh boy. Okay, I see platforming. You know what? Oh, okay, so this is... I'm pretty sure this is a Russian game. Yeah, right, so that's just another little hole for the monsters to come out. I I wonder if on higher difficulties the game gives, like, more creatures that you have to worry about. Uh, can I...? Well, that isn't quite what I wanted to do, game, but you know what, I'll take it. Just wanted to... Oh, God. Hello. Get back, you little bastard. Come here. All right, I wanted to bring this crate just because it feels like something I was going to need. Oh, uh, let's got him down to seven bullets. Jesus. Did I miss a melee tool or something? Oh, my God. Hello. What are you doing here? Well, you know what? Good job, game. You startled the hell out of me. I think this was actually made by the guys who made the uh, Horror Story franchise, which I've actually seen mentioned a few times in other channels, and it looked interesting. Cave, second level, oh boy. Wait, wait a second. Wait, that's a free asset? That's, those are the things from uh, Dead Beacon. Those were the, they're the spitter things. I thought all the enemies in there were, like, custom made. No, so those are... Oh, okay. Over the past six months, the expedition of my father, Vladimir Efimov, was engaged in drilling ice and exploring the prehistoric minerals found in Antarctica 1 station. Six weeks ago, the expedition stopped communicating. Today I've arrived in a four-man rescue team to find out what happened. Back then, I could not even imagine what was waiting for me. Yeah, I'm not sure, like... I, I wonder if the people that do this type of stuff for a living ever actually get worried. Yeah, do they ever be like, oh, yeah, I'm sure everything is totally fine? Or are they, are they sitting there making jokes about it totally being the thing? Ooh, flamethrower fuel, okay. Oh, what have we got in here? The hell? Oh, you know what I think this is? I think this is, uh, kind of shared like a zoom in button. Uh, that looks like the character model for something from their from one of their previous games, because they actually had a collection on sale. Keycard, okay, this is apparently a Soviet station. Uh, what does this say? Is that an Android, iOS game? Oh, are these like... Are these like the, uh, people who played it on the channel? Or on their channels? 
Okay. Yeah, maybe. Here we go. Parka, perfect. Find a way to get warm and nice that this door automatically opens. Uh, okay, so I have a map. Alright, so I'm here. May as well go look around. A few containers, a few areas. Do I want to say- oh. Okay, so this is a save system. I thought that was going to be like diary entries. Um, so. Let's see. Hmm. Alexi, Jack, Harry, where are you guys? Yeah, I don't know. Also, I really hope that uh, me translating that isn't a problem. Kind of wish that these games would have English translations, but I know for smaller teams it's often prohibitive. Hello, Axe, don't mind if I do? It looks fragile, huh? Okay. You know what? I mean, so far it's it's simple, but it's not bad. Okay, I have a first aid kit. More flamethrower fuel. A snowmobile ski. The hell was that? Okay, I don't want to open that quite yet. A valve lever. And what are you? Today we finally arrived at the station. I don't understand why we were sent here during the polar night and the storms. The expedition miraculously survived on the road, but several times it seemed like everything was on the verge of collapse. Only Efimov is aware of the situation, and can only hope whatever it is is worth it. I've been trying to fix the damn snowmobile all day, I'm chilled to the marrow. Okay. So there's... Alright, so I got the other, uh, ski. Kinda of bulky looking snowmobile, but maybe they use, like, heavier duty ones for this area. Um... Yeah, what what's slammed into here? Fudge. Okay. Uh, heck. All right, you know, let's just keep on going. Gorge, take the map here. Oh, all right. Well, there is another map. I'm not sure why they would just leave a random paper map out here for that, but who am I to judge? Oh, that's not good. Find out where the crew is gone. Lock doesn't work, no electricity, I need to restore... Well, it seems like all the electricity goes to here. So is there like a second fuel line? Oh. Alright. Well, yeah, there we go, there's a... There's a fuel generator. I wonder what kind of gas they actually use for this. It couldn't be diesel, I, mean, I think diesel would gel at these, at these uh, levels. Yeah, diesel gels out really badly in certain circumstances, I know, when it gets cold enough, and then it creates a massive problem. Um... Okay. Well, there we go. Hello, pistol. Again, I mean, you're after my own heart, but... Alright. You know what, I'm gonna... <laughs> I looked down, I saw the count for the ammo thing, and I thought that maybe the game was saying that I had an ammo count for my, uh... For my axe. Like, I think, uh, the, the original DayZ mod, I think, had something like that. Where it had, like, 9,999 uses, or whatever the max ammo count was. One. What? Was that not an ammo box? Also, what the hell was that? Oh, wait, no. Those are grenade boxes. What? Why are there grenade boxes? What- what kind of, like, rampant, aggressively rabid fucking penguin wildlife did we expect to encounter here? Alright, so it looks like seven is the max for the mag. Ah, uh, let's see, explore the lab for clues. Something is missing. Can't quite hear whatever it is. We're moving forward from Vostok Station. Ahead, there are an impossible 68 kilometers of ice and snow to get there. But it was only founded a couple months ago. There's a rumors the researchers there found something incredible, but I strongly doubt it's worth risking our lives. Yeah, to be honest, I would doubt that too. I wouldn't... What is that noise? There's something down here I'm worried about fighting. Yeah, there's a creature somewhere. Unless that's like an ambient noise track that's playing around for some reason, but... I don't know why it would be. Here, let's start opening these. Um... Let's see. 
Anything? No. Oh. What the hell? Whatever it is, is up there. Okay, there's another transistor. There's pistol ammo. Can I, uh, can I go install the two transistors on this? Oh, okay. Everyone, everyone, everyone. Professor Antonov speaking. Urgently stop the study of the samples. They're alive, they attacked us. In the caves we encountered some terrible creatures. Comrade Baikov died. Samples must be destroyed immediately in order to prevent their spread. I took the keycard for the armory from Efimov. Weapons are the only chance to survive. There's too many of them. We urgently need help at the drilling station. Come forward to, to us as soon as possible. Alright, there we go. Says so a snowmobile key. Well, I mean, technically, I probably could progress forward. But I also kind of want to see what's up here. Ah, it's one of you. Okay. Oh, alright, you know what? Uh, it actually is kind of nice. Yeah, they, it only makes us take a couple of good swacks to kill one of them. That's really quite handy. Um, let's see, let me get you. Let me get anything else around here. God, I really feel like I should have a flashlight. I also don't like the fact that that suggests whatever these things are are already outside of here. So yeah, like, when did we actually get here? When did this outbreak start? How did we... Hmm. Is there another one? Okay, hang on. Let me read this. There are no doubts. The strange formations we found in the ice samples are, trace are traces of life forms still unknown to science. Judging by the depth and decimeter readings, these tracks are no less than 600 to 700 million years old. If this is confirmed, we will, they, we will have discovered the most ancient life form on the planet. Sorry, for some reason how they read it, I just couldn't get my mouth around. Okay, cool. Well, we got that. Let's get the hell out of here. I need to get on that snowmobile. And hope that I can make it. Also, I just realized something. Why is this dude... Oh, God. Okay. I need to get off to the left there, eh? Um... What was I saying, though? Uh... Oh, yeah. Why is this guy not wearing gloves in the Antarctic? <clears throat> I mean, that is just a profoundly stupid idea. Oh, boy. I... Okay. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Okay, so you're actually a different model, too. You're not the weird, like, flower face looking thing. Oh, goody, there's no fuel. Of course there's no fuel. Why would there be fuel? That would be... That would be crazy, Boundless. We don't fuel our things. We don't keep them ready to go. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy, there's more. Um, let me see. Where would fuel be? Apparently, M pulls out my gun. Okay. Let me, uh, double check. Where would... you think it would be in one of these, but... I don't know, maybe not. Hey, buddy. You are an ugly son of a bitch. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Alright, let's get up top here. Anything inside of any of these... No. There's still one of the crawling bastards missing, but... That's fine. I'll worry about him in a minute. So I need to get myself some fuel. Where can I get fuel from? You would think it would be like the flammable crate, right? The thing that has all of the fuel for the generator, but... Then again, maybe not. Oh, actually, hang on, maybe it is. Yeah, there's just this jerry can sitting out here. The fuel tank is explosive. It looks like I need to be careful next to it. Well, yes, obviously. I, what the hell? What's wrong with my hands? Okay, it was weird. It was like I got caught halfway through the animation racking the pistol. Okay. Well, fair enough. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's go grab this. And then let's see about getting the hell out of here. So, I do know that there is some amount... Of vehicle section to this game. Like, I think we do actually control the vehicle for parts of this. And around the gorge. Also, I'm sorry, did that just say Dungeon 2? Excuse you? 
Hmm, okay. Well, you know, I will say, first, like, 20-ish, 15, 20 minutes of the game so far have been really quite fun. Oh god, oh god, away we go! <laughs> okay, so, you definitely, uh, you definitely maintain some momentum here. Yeah, I, I should be more careful if I can't exactly see the route in front of me there. Oh, that was really funny. Oh boy, come on, come on. And I do like, too, that when you press back, the, uh... The little tail light goes on. Oh. Okay, so there's two deaths. Let's see. Real time day night changing? Oh, is that? Is that what was. I just saw the little thing in the loading screen. So the game actually changes its. its aesthetic at night, huh? Okay. Yeah, I've uh, been playing it during the day, obviously, because now that my first semester is wrapped up, uh, I am gonna have a lot more time. To give you guys more videos, and I appreciate the living heck out of all of you who have been going ahead and giving me, like, so much patience here. Those of you who have been like, oh yeah, but I'm gonna take all the time you need, because I, I know I've, uh, not been giving you guys as much as I normally do, and I don't like that. So hopefully with the added time... Press F to exit the vehicle. Okay. What's inside of here? Uh, a note. My hands are trembling. And a new drilling place, we discovered a huge cave just 20 meters below the ice surface. The sensors detected movement in it, but obviously this must be some sort of hardware error. Engineers are thinking of how to modify the drill so that we can go down there. Everyone is on edge. Efimov has not been sleeping for the past three days. I'm going back to the research station to tell my colleagues everything. Yeah, that seems like maybe if your drill is detecting movement, maybe double check the drill first. Yeah, go ahead and calibrate out the drill, guys, because, you know, just be safe. Better safe than sorry, am I right? Alright, anything else around here? No, it looks like it was really just a little bit of ammo. Okay, well, at the very least, I got myself a checkpoint for when I inevitably launch this poor fucker off the edge of a cliff again. And his kind of hilarious, ah, death and noise triggers. Here, let's keep going. God, it's so tough to see what's coming. I wonder if that's like an FOV thing, or if this was a port from, like, mobile. Because looking at the overall visual quality, it wouldn't surprise me. Oh? Find a way to overcome the blockage. Uh, let's see. Can I not just... I probably just can't do a sick jump over this, right? No, I probably have to... What, do I have to climb... What? I... Oh, Jesus, okay. Um... You know what, I should, I should probably go ahead and, you know... Yeah, let, let's... I uh, can't go on foot. Yeah, certainly not with your frostbitten fingertips here, sport. I, I don't understand what this dude is thinking doing this. Okay, so I think these these things here, like the the bipedal ones, they sound human. Yeah, they give off like human-ish noises when they when they do stuff. Here we go, wooden planks. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and make a sick jump that we can go ahead and ramp off of. Woohoo! Yeah, tremendously stupid idea. Actually, come to think of it, aren't snowmobiles also like heavy as hell? I seem to recall snowmobiles aren't exactly lightweight, because, like, they have entire engines and the tracks and everything, and blah blah blah. But yeah, alright, there we go. So we're under the drilling area, and then we have Dungeon 1 and 2. And I'm sure nothing bad will possibly happen there. I'm sure one of the dungeons is just the, uh... It's probably the area where the intro took place in, right? You know, we fall in, we're given the gun, and then it's like, haha, let's go. You know, it's it's not exactly memorable music, but it is good music. Yeah, the music that's here, like, it, it very much fits the theme of the area and the kind of overall feel. Yeah, it's it's kind of nice in that way. 
All right, where is the little crawling bastard? I want to I want to go take out the trash before I go start exploring. I don't want to get suddenly sideswiped by one of them because they come over for a hug. All right, come here, you big weirdo. You weird like tumorous hunchback. All right. And now you. Which now that I've uh now that I've I've discovered that apparently more of the more of the enemies are in-game assets. I wonder if these are other ones that I just don't recognize. I heard more. Yeah, so this is the drill. They definitely should have gone ahead and recalibrated that if they detected motion. Not doing that was just like the purest form of negligence on Earth. Okay, I don't I don't want to go down into the pits yet. Kinda weird that I can go up there, but I can't like jump over that either. Hmm. Anyway. Let's poke our heads inside. Let's see what's here. Uh, Professor, I got your message. I also see that you have been kind enough to gift me with shotgun ammo game, which makes me happy. The map of the drilling area. Okay. Hey there, you weird fucking, like, crayfish looking thing. That actually, yeah, that actually is what they look like. They look like weird crayfish with their tails and stuff. And I'm sure some southerner somewhere is foaming at the mouth. Like, that's not a crayfish, that's something else. And then I'm gonna just have to make fun of them. Uh, let's see, anything? More boards? I can't make a sick ramp and just, like, ramp off into the sunset? Oh, boy. He's dead. Huh. Okay, I guess. Here we go, here's a key card. Is this the one for the armory? Oh? Who's that guy? Oh, that's my dad? It's definitely him, he's alive? Okay, so what did that say? I need to go find a way to go follow... ...my dad down into the mines. Seems like a tremendously stupid idea. If dad is doing that, I should probably go ahead and, you know... ...level the entire goddamn mine shaft, but... You know what? Again, maybe I'm just particularly, uh... Maybe I just don't have the right attitude for, you know, mad science. Beats me. Okay, let's do that. More ammo. Thank you, thank you. Hey, buddy. I don't know what you think you were doing in there, but I'm sorry if I interrupted private time. Yeah, you know what? I'm kinda... Oh god, oh my god, there's two of them. Okay, uh, back off. Back... Uh, you know what? Fine. Oh boy, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Weird, again, fucking crayfish things. The hell? <laughs> okay, that looks too damn funny. Yeah, what, uh... <clears throat> I don't know what that was doing down there, but... Yeah, that's uh, that looked ridiculous, and I kind of love it. So let's see, uh, you're good there, ammo, aid kit, blah blah blah. You know what I should do? Let me, uh, yeah, let me top up my flamethrower here too. Probably shouldn't have used it there, but I really just wanted to make sure that they were dead, and now I kind of have a feel for how they work too. Not that I really needed much of a breakdown on how flamethrowers work, but, yeah, you get my point, right? I'm sorry, is that a fucking M79? Why did these guys have an M79 launcher here? Again, what kind of expectations did they have? Do they not anticipate the thing? Do they think Lovecraft was right? There's gonna be giant, weird, spitting penguin things? I don't understand anything. According to radiocarbon analysis, the age of the samples we delivered to the laboratory were not prehistoric. The device shows that they are from the same time as us. How is this possible? I really don't like all of this. So these aren't ancient life forms. Hmm. That's concerning. How does that happen? Yeah, that makes me extremely worried. Okay, well, whatever it is. I think I have enough of this now. Yeah, I need to head on down into the, uh, into the...
hit here. Come on, get out of here, you little bastard. Alright, and there's the big bastard. I'll see if I can just ignore him for now. Um, but yeah, I, I, I wanted to do that here so we can get up here. Oh, I didn't even need to do the jump. I could have just walked. Strange. So then what's the point of this area? Is this just like... Now, you know what? Maybe it's just the asset. Yeah, maybe it's just the asset that they had to do that. Alright, and then we're on to dungeon one. Go find my dad. Okay, well... I, uh... Oh boy. Get... Okay. Again, fine guys, you wanna go ahead and you wanna go play that game? I'm willing to. You know, I, I did pick up rifle ammo too. And I have yet to really find a rifle. I encountered the shotgun. I have a flamethrower. I have a pistol. I have a fucking grenade launcher. I don't have a rifle yet, and I'm worried that I've missed it. I mean, again, given that I seem to be pretty much exclusively using melee, I guess I really shouldn't care that much, but... At the same time, it's always nice to have more weapons, you know? Would rather be un would rather be over prepared than under, especially in a game that doesn't have like a weight limit or a capacity system like a lot of others do. I'm gonna need to be very careful. I don't inadvertently pull out my grenade launcher and blast myself to smithereens. And what's all of this? Does this area just like kind of loop around? I, got I keep on pressing E to pick it up because every game has that. Oh, hello. Yeah, more rifle ammo. Alright, so, quick question. What do we think the odds are that dear old dad has been somehow involved with the release of these things? Like 90%, 95% probably? He's, uh... Yeah, maybe he was, like, intentionally one of the people that released them because... Oh, hello. Get... Yeah, maybe he was one of the people who intentionally released it because he's like, Ah, oh, it's the form of our god. Some bullshit like that. Hey, buddy. You know what? Haven't, uh... Haven't used you yet. Not bad. Not particularly amazing, but... Yeah, five shots. That's, that's a little much, especially compared to the axe, but... I, I guess I really can't be too upset. You're good, you're good. You're all set. Let me grab these then. The map of the cave. Which actually, yeah, I should take a look. Jesus Christ. So I already came there. I think I've checked all of that. So if I want to get off the dungeon too, I pretty much just need to kind of stick to the right. Although I bet there's some stuff up there if I check it. I'll probably check it out just on principle. We just discovered a whole creature. I can't believe my eyes. It's perfectly preserved in ice and remotely resembles crustaceans. We'll deliver it to the laboratory for study. Our expedition will go down in history. Look, guys, I hate to tell you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fudge. Really? Hang on. Let me, uh... Did I save? I don't know if I saved. Let me let me try this and see if this will get me out of here. Yeah, let's try this. So the you can click off of the cursor. You can like back out of that interact menu, but you can't bring your cursor back. So I think it just might be like a weird edge case that wasn't anticipated. What the fudge? Yeah. But hey, you know what? If anyone's gonna find ways to break a game, it's probably gonna be me, right? So yeah, let's just poke my head down. I know there's not really gonna be anything super handy down here. Just ammo, just supplies, and given that I have been using the pistol a bit, may as well go ahead and do that. Come on. There we go. And more 40 millimeter grenades. I'm gonna have to be very careful, because I don't really want to beat the whole game without ever using him. I just kind of hope that when the circumstances call for using it, 
it's, you know, kind of obvious, right? It's one of those things where it's like, oh, hey, there's an enemy the size of a truck. And then it's like, oh, yes, obviously this, this is the time you pull out the big guns. I also don't know how to heal. I should probably check that at some point. So this is probably how we do Dungeon 2, right? Well, hey there, Dad. There's a you know, son to hold on a little more. Now everything will be alright with you. I'm well guided in the cave and I've studied the habits of these creatures. Be careful, they're completely blind but they have great hearing. So sit tight. I'll lock the door and leave you with my shotgun. I'll try to get to the very bottom of the caves where we carried out blasting operations. There should be dynamite remaining. With it, we can blow up the blockage and get out. Take a rest, I'll be back soon and explain everything. Got it, so then this is that little intro cutscene, blah blah blah. Uh, alright, so. Shotty time. Yeah, we got Trusty the shotgun here. Oh yeah, so then obviously we have this, and we have... So you know what I just said earlier about not wanting to frag myself with a grenade? Alrighty, escape from the room, and now we can go track down Dad. So just checking the map here, making sure we're good. Let's continue, because I need to go get my murder on. You know what I forgot to do in between? I forgot to check the controls. Oops. Yeah, yeah, stop that, you jackwagon. Uh, you know what, I, let me actually just really quickly, I just want to double check. Uh, what is heal? First aid? Oh, it's tab, okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. I will be curious how tough the other things are, because it seems like he's suggesting that they are... Yeah, it seems like he's suggesting that they can't see me. Which, I mean, it does make sense, right? The model doesn't really have eyes. <clears throat> oh, wow, okay, so the, the medkits only do 30% health. I figured when I got below 50, I could go ahead and risk one to help. Or to go check, but... Stop that, you jackwagon. Yeah, alright. Well, let's go check it out. Let's go see what happens with our, uh... Our screamy buddy up ahead here. Although, come to think of it, didn't he pop out in that room? Or was it the next room coming up? I don't even remember. It all looks the same. Oh, no. Yeah, it was here, because there's the cave second level sign. I feel like I've heard that noise before. Oh, okay. So they hit like trucks, but can probably just... Yeah, I can kill them pretty quickly with this. Ah, uh, you know what? I mean, I have the guns, right? I should just use them. I should save the melee for... the times when I absolutely have to. Oh, okay. I actually wasn't expecting you to... to take me anywhere useful. I kind of thought that, like, pitch blackness there was gonna mean it was a dead end, like a monster spawner. No, it did not. So, that's, uh... You know, let's go top off. Get ourselves a little bit more stuff, some ammo, some equipment, some mining stuff. Don't like having that door open behind me. Makes me, uh... What we, what we like to call a little bit nervous. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So, yeah, let's go see. Let's go see what, uh... How do these guys handle... You know what, actually? Yeah, so the the pistol rounds are definitely weaker. Yeah, they're definitely weaker than the, uh... Axe itself. Let me try you. Okay. Okay. It's not terrible. Not terrible. Really would like to get my hands on my rifle. Just to have something... Yeah, just to kind of have something, like, relative to compare it to. Because what I'd love to have is something that hits about as hard as the shotgun. But that I can use it at range. That's normally where rifles kind of occupy their niche, as it were. Alright, anything down here? No, just a cave-in. Oh boy. Okay. So, 
I wonder what creatures he was saying are the ones he thinks are blind. Because I'm pretty sure that the ones that are like the bipedal ones that do the sort of humanoid grunting noises, I think they have eyes. They have very visible eyes. Okay, anything down? I don't know. This just leads us back here. Okay. Yeah, they have very visible eyes on them, so I don't think it's them. Maybe the crustacean crawfish looking things? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me either way. Here, let's grab you. Let's pretend we're just playing Penumbra here. Nothing else down there, yeah. There we go. What the hell? Get. Yeah. Oh no. Whatever that noise is, I don't like it. And so I'd rather go hunt it. Hey buddy, how you doing? We're gonna have ourselves a problem here. Kinda wanna just wait for it to come on back, blast it. Well, you know what? I guess, technically speaking, I did half of that. I waited for it to come around and then blasted it. But by waiting, I mean I pissed it off so that it came at me. Oh. Boy, these things are resilient fuckers. Jesus. They're just tanking shotgun blasts to the face like that? Holy hell. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. Probably one of the little scuttling crab lobster looking things. And that is not something calculated to make me happy. Alright, so you go back here. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Really don't want to end up, like, missing the rifle if I can avoid it or anything else. Although, I mean, odds are I might have already missed it, right? I will say, too, it seems like at least our dad, as of current, might be trustworthy. Maybe. I'm still not particularly sold either way, but... You know, he, uh... Alright, you're just a dead end. Okay. Yeah, so we'll probably have to make a jump there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's actively trying to help these things out, so... I, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. God, it's such a fucking maze. I mean, I guess, yeah, standard maze traversal tactics still apply, right? Okay, there's a shelter here inside. I actually really like these little shelters. They're nice. Like, I don't really want to call them super organic, but uh, they are fairly organic ways of just giving the player stuff. Like, it's not like I'm just going around and I'm just finding random caches of bullshit. You know, it's not like some dude walked around and was just like he had like a bag of holding and he just kept on spilling boxes of 9 mil all over the floor. Okay. What do we got here? Well, there's his hat, but there's no pile of blood here. No, Dad, no! Boy, that dude emotes about as hard as I do, Jesus. Use dynamite to get out of the cave. Okay. Oh, boy. Stop that. Oh, come on. Oh, no. What? No, no, that's not what I need. Not what I need. Oh god, oh god, okay. Yeah, I even, buddy, need you to... Oh, Jesus, these... My god, these fuckers don't go down. I think that dude took the better part of two mags. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, it seems like maybe a mag and a half to drop them. You know what, I actually really like that the game does allow the player to fire about as fast as they can pull the trigger. That is damn appreciated, game. Thank you very much. Yeah, too many games, they, like, artificially hold you to two or three shots per set, per uh, second or something like that. But no, you can pretty much fire a gun as fast as you can pull the trigger, because you're almost certainly never gonna... You're never going to outrun the trigger pull. Your reflexes aren't really going to be faster, unless you're like a trick shooter. In which case, this doesn't apply to you anyway. Uh, so where am I trying to use the dynamite? It said dungeon one. 
Yeah, wh where do you want me to go blow up again? Is it one of these? Did I go down this way yet? God, again, it's it's all just this fucking nightmare. I I can't tell where where something starts and ends. Oh my god. Well, it just means I get the wander, so uh, let's go see what I can go fucking find. What? You bastard. That was kind of rude. So I was just trying to think, like, are there any paths that I knew I hadn't gone across? And no. No, there were not. No, and then, damn it, and then I turn around somehow. Okay. So if I just keep on going, if I look for any areas that definitely have hostels... Have I gone through this one yet? Maybe? Yeah, because then this just leads back to here. And there's all of this stuff. Yeah, man, I have no fucking clue. It didn't even really say anything about where to go, did it? Not particularly. And then what about here? No. No, you know what? I think I'm gonna try to head back to, uh... I'm gonna try to head back to the Dungeon 1. I'm gonna try to head back to the Dungeon 1 entrance and see what I can find there, just to be safe. Well, you know what? I'm finding hostels. And that alone gives me reason to consider this potentially the right path. Sorry about that. Yeah, we, uh... I don't know any of you guys live anywhere near the Midwest, but it's been really freaky here for us. We've been having, like, probably solid 50-plus degree Fahrenheit swings, which is... What, like, 30 degree Celsius swings? 20 degree Celsius swings? Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, good work there, sport. Alright, and I don't want to go that way. Let me just double-check. So, up right through the big room, and then just pretty much straight across. Yeah, here we go. And then it should be through this, because this should take us back to the star, right? Yeah. But I can at least go ahead and go save, and then... And hopefully, not end up running into any trouble. I'm also not sure just collapsing the fucking mine is really going to be the way to do this. Yeah, there we go. No, we're on to dungeon one now. Okay, I guess. I'm... I'm... You know, to be honest, all I can say is the fact that the game lets me go back here is about the only indication I have that we're going in the right direction. Because, you know, normally games don't really let you do that. They, they tend to kind of lock you off, especially for, like, indie horror game stuff. They tend to be pretty, uh... I guess calling them linear wouldn't be unfair, would it? So I just hope this is the right damn call. I'm also not really sure why there's that box there. If it's just, like, a random doodad, or... Or if maybe there's more gap between them. If you, uh... Yeah, maybe there's, like, more gap there or something if you play this on harder difficulties. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing here, nothing here. Go. Go link up with your buddy over there. Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm bleeding through my assets here. I kind of want to see if I can go frag this guy with one of his friends. Yeah, I want one of the little uh, scuttling, like, crustacean-looking things to link up with him. Oh, couldn't go ahead and do that. He decided to make that weird, creepy screech. I will say, that noise is really effective, though. I don't know... I, I feel like I've heard it used a number of times. Like, I think Do Not... Do You Copy has it? <clears throat> and that was the game about the, uh... Oh, God. Hang on. Yeah, I know, and that was the game about the, uh... There we go. About the goat man, and you were the dude in the watchtower, the fire watchtower. 
which still one of my all-time favorite indie horrors that I've ever played but yeah that was uh I think that was used there as like one of the goat man noises or something oh god oh for <clears throat> wow no oh boy okay let's go try this again That was some tremendously good shooting there, Boundless, you fucking moron. Yeah, that was uh, that was some of the best shooting I think I've ever pulled off in a game. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The hell? Oh, that's weird. Like, yeah, the, the, the everything kind of zooms in when we get too close. Yeah, all right. Again, I'm not really complaining about it. It's more just little things I'm noticing where I'm like, oh, that's kind of strange. But, yes, it's been fun so far. Definitely has some weirdness, you know, some of the... Some of the deaths and stuff kind of feel a little bit, and yeah, but... Yeah, I mean, overall, this has been pretty solid. I'm definitely happy I picked this up for a couple of bucks recently. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but... You know, it wasn't... It wasn't like a ton of cash. Let's see. There we go. Yeah. Like I said, it wasn't a ton of cash overall. Um, it was just pretty solid through and through. And I think they actually had a pretty big deal. So if any of you guys are familiar with the... Like, the horror story franchise, I think it's like... I think it's named after... Individuals in the story. It's like Horror Story Samantha or something like that. Yeah, if you guys uh, know if they're good or bad, you can feel free to leave a comment and let me know. But I'm already pretty sold on these developers, especially if they make stuff that's reasonably priced, you know? Uh, recently I streamed uh, Bramble the Mountain King, and like, that game was really, really pretty and really fun. But I think they retailed it for like 30 US dollars? And the game was about four hours long, so it just... You know, that that's probably a little too much for me to justify that kind of expense. Yeah, I mean, I think this normally went for, I don't know, five bucks, maybe? I'm also starting to get worse and worse at doing the uh, melee combat, I'm noticing. Which is a concern. Shelter, 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 thank god. Hey, what the hell? Did I not... No, I guess I, yeah, I would have had to have been here, wouldn't I? Yeah, I would have had to have been here because we've already went through this whole area, so... I was kind of hoping that maybe the shelter was going to have some more stuff. But it looks like no. Oh, well. Yeah, and there we go. There's the drill. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see if I can't get the hell out of here. And now I'm up on the drill. So yeah, I need to repair and use the funicular to escape. What the hell is a funicular? Oh, is it the uh is it the little like tram trolley looking thing? Oh boy. Oh my god, there's so fucking many. Jesus. All right, fine. You know what assholes? There we go. Go eat a big old bag of cock. Here we are. So is it this thing? This is what I need to do to escape? Oh, okay. I guess they already figured out where all the fuses are. Uh, that's handy then. Yeah, screw it. Let's get the hell out of here. Radio tower. Oh, goody, I need to take the map. I'm sorry. Did I just see an AK? Yeah, I did. Okay. It's one of the little short AKs. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> yeah, I, I feel like this isn't really the most appropriate tool to be carrying when you're out here. But then again, 
who am I to really judge, right? I don't really care. Some dude's like, you know what? I want to go out on a hike and I want to go bring an M4 with me. Fuck it, bro. You do you. The hell? Ooh, dynamite. Okay. A snowmobile key. Oh, buddy. Uh oh. Oh, buddy. What the fuck? What does that even work? Afimov is crazy. He's obsessed with the study of the creatures and prevented us from destroying them. He shot Antilov, Orlov, Popov, and he wounded me. It seems he has broken the funicular. If you see him, shoot to kill. I've lost far too much blood. If any of you find this entry, you know you have to take my dynamite and blow up the entrance to the cave and the laboratory with the samples. Okay, this guy seems competent. After that, ride a snowmobile and evacuate from the radio tower. Remember the code is 117. Don't let a single creature get to the continent. Okay, I mean, I'll do my best there, bro. Yeah. I'll try as hard as I can. And he turned into a popsicle, which uh, seems a little bit rude. Not exactly the nicest way, so... Blow up the entrance of the caves and blow up the lab with the samples? Oh, really? Hang on. So is that something I can do, like... So, hang on, do I need to get up... Do I need to go back to the cave entrance, maybe? Let me- let me check something, can I... Yeah, can I go back here? I'm also trying to think, where- where have I had a lab before? Yeah, I guess we'd have to get to the laboratory itself, right? Like, way back at the start of the game. Here, let me go see. Oh my god, all of you assholes respawned, okay. Hmm. Can I not frag this? Oh, what was that? Hold on. Okay, well, you know what? Here, let me, uh... There we go. Yeah, I'll just go clear up my... Let's go reduce the asshole quota around this place a little bit before I get to work. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe I could actually blow up with the fuel cans. Yeah, that would actually make sense, wouldn't it? So... Gotta leave this place, it's all going to explode now? Okay. Let me, uh, let me get out of here and see. I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have. Okay. Nice, well there we go. Sorry, I didn't even think about that. So there we go, Engines of the Caves is done, but no, I, I need to go all the way back down there. I'm, I'm gonna skip it this time, though. I'm not gonna make you guys suffer through the cutscene. Yeah, let's go back to the lab, because there was also that container of high explosive. And that is actually really nice, too, though we can, uh... Yeah, though the game, like, straight up gives us the option. I was curious how they were gonna do the whole multiple... Yeah, how they were gonna do, like, the multiple endings thing. Because on the Steam page, you talked about that. Because I assume that if you don't do this, then, like, a non-zero number of them escape to the continent, and then that somehow causes a big issue. I don't really know how, to be completely frank with you. I mean, these things... <clears throat> yeah, eat it, monster. I mean, yeah, these things seem to pretty go... to go down pretty well. They seem to be pretty easy to kill. I mean, yeah, shooting them, like, a half a dozen times with a pistol solves most of the problems. And I feel like there's enough crazy rednecks in the U.S. alone that would basically be chomping at the bit to go deal with these things. Okay, that was great. Thanks, Gim. I'm sure you just saw that I just got bounced off the wall. Wonderful. Well, you know what? It wouldn't be a kind of semi-janky Russian indie horror game without... without some things like that. Ten points, each one of them. Let's go. Hey, big guy. Yeah, go ahead and go eat it there. Yeah, I know they went with a more realistic thing, but I, I do wonder if maybe... 
maybe these sequences would be better if there was like some sort of a an artificial handrail thing and then in exchange maybe make it so that the player can get killed more easily by creatures here let's just keep on going try to be careful boundless yeah i want to i want to take a pause here at the shelter and want to get myself some uh i want a quick save just in case because these are probably the most frustrating Ah, frustrating is the wrong word. These are probably the most tedious portions of the game so far. Just because they tend to require a lot of... Yeah, they have stuff like this, where it's like... The momentum, and if you go off the edge just a little bit, it may as well kill you. So, see, good thing I went ahead and stopped, just to be safe. But, again, you know, I think if a game is 90% good, and then 10% of it is kind of... Frustrating, I think you have a pretty solid game overall. And so far, yeah, this has been pretty solid. I, uh... I, I can't really complain about too much that isn't this. You know, it's simple, it's to the point. I think this game is supposed to be like one and a half hours long at most. Although, I, it's always weird to me whenever I'm, I'm trying to, like, do that calculation for videos. Because a lot of times I'll take a look at these games that are... You know, 30, 45 minutes long and stuff, and I'll see... Especially if they're Steam games, I'll see people having played them, you know, for four hours. And I'm just sitting there thinking, what happened? Like, did you just replay and replay until you were happy with the content you made, or...? Yeah, what, what was going on there? If you don't know what to do next, just use a hint. Oh, I completely forgot about the hints, to be honest. Yeah, I, I genuinely totally forgot about those. Oops. Well, is what it is. Okay, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, yoink, yoink, yoink. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Dad. Do not approach. Everything has gone all too far. I won't let you destroy my labors. Get on the snowmobile and go away. Okay, fun. I mean, I have bigger problems to worry about at the moment, so... Okay, you get out of here, you weird fucking crawfish. Before I go get a southerner to turn you into something to deep fry. Okay, old man Jenkins, you want to go be a pain in the ass? You know what? I don't know what I was expecting. I honestly didn't even think about the link between those things. Yeah, okay. That was probably one of the dumber choices I've made in this video so far. Like, obviously, aside from the accidental uh, fragging of myself earlier, but... Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go clean up the rest of these tools first. It'll mean my... It'll make my life a little harder, but... Also, come to think of it then, does that mean that our dad actually was the bad guy? I don't remember if our dad ever got named. If he was ever, like, a properly named character in the story or not. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. Yes, yes, blah, blah. Go eat it. There we go. Perfect. Is that our dad? I, I genuinely don't remember. Yeah, like, I, I couldn't tell you. Let's, let's get out of here, let's blow up this place. That is clever, though. That is actually a nice touch that the developers put something in, where if you take the easy way out and just blow them up, you die too. Which, I will say, um... Is actually, yeah, that, that's just well done. I, I'm kind of surprised, but at the same time, I'm not, that he's such, like, a pushover of an enemy, you know? Yeah, that he's just like this... I mean, when you think about it, right, he's just an asshole with a gun, so it kind of makes sense that he would just be, like, some old dude that you put three rounds into his chest and he goes down hard. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, well, whatever it is, let's get the hell out of here, let's go back. I want to go get myself 
off of this damn snowy plateau. And I also want to go ahead and make it so that anyone who decides to try to go research this, I can go shoot them in the face. Here, again, just being paranoid. Which inevitably means, because I'm paranoid, that I end up killing myself, but... You know what, there's no guarantee that I wouldn't inadvertently do that, and I really don't want to have to redo whole sections of the driving. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. I think we're almost there. Yeah, I think kind of once I get to the area that I have to do the ramp, I don't really think there's many places I can fall off of. Maybe like one or two more, but I think it kind of, it opens up a little bit, thank god. And may as well run all these things. <clears throat> may as well run all these little bastards over. You know, it's probably lucky for me, too, that blowing up the, uh, the drilling site didn't actually damage the... Yeah, it didn't damage the tram system at all. Because it seems like this would have been a really easy thing to destroy. Accidentally break the cables. Wow, he was getting kind of close there. I was not a fan of that. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, radio tower, etc. Let's go get moving now that I went back and did all that. Actually, yeah, you know what? I may as well just keep out the AK, right? <coughs> Sorry again. I realized about halfway through recording that I was out of water. And, uh, that was a mistake. What's that noise? Why are you playing, like, the scare chords game? I don't trust you. And what was the code? 117? I think it was 117. And then again, yeah, I mean, there's no guarantee I'm not infected either. But at the same time... Maybe blowing it up. Yeah, maybe... Well, I don't know. Nuking the site from orbit does seem like a good option, but at the same time... Might also be nice to have somebody who's seen this. Then again, I mean, are they really gonna believe that, or are they gonna think that I went crazy and started killing everyone? Probably more likely to be the latter. Ah, hey guys, how's it going? God, I really wish I could have, like, a flare. Yeah, I really wish I had, like, a flare or something that I could use to, you know, lure them all in together. Probably also shouldn't be wasting all of these, but at the same time... Oh no, so that actually was just, like, straight up an animation. Okay. You know what? Close enough is close enough. I'll deal with the rest of these things by hitting them with an axe. Oh, come on. Okay, so yeah, it seems like hitting these things is occasionally a little bit tough, especially when they're on lower slopes than you. Or, again, may maybe I'm just used to games that give you more leeway. Which could be possible. I mean... Okay, so there's the helipad. Any other supplies around here? Any other materials? Anything else I can do? No, I just need to get out of here. Do I actually have to stack up crates? Feels weird that this- oh, so there is a door, okay. The door is apparently locked from the inside. Okay. Well, I can't shoot it open. What are you gonna have me- oh, hang on, I see. Okay, maybe- well, I'm actually wondering something then. Was that necessarily our dad that was going crazy there? Or was it someone else? Was that the, uh, the nut job who started shooting people? I mean, it does feel weird to me that somehow only our dad survived, right? Ah, here we go. So I go up here, go on in. Let me just sweep this for crazy Russians, just to be safe, before I check it for items. Okay, well, you know what? Once you know the flamethrower fuel. 
Yeah, then let's let's hop back up here. I think I need to go do something to open up the door. So fuel, ammo and supplies, button. Oh, why will they have this security door to the helipad? That seems weird to me. Yeah, that, that just seems odd. Okay, I need to call for evacuation from the radio power. Oh, wait, did I... Did I already do that? Yeah, did I already go ahead and uh, put in the code or whatever? I thought I was going to have to do that from here. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, whatever. Let's keep on going. Let's get out to the damn helipad. I want to get myself out of here. Don't know what to do next. Just use the hint. Yeah, I actually, I wonder how useful the hints really are. I wonder if these are like... I wonder if these are good or bad hints, or they kind of will just outline what to do in precise language. Or if they're gonna be like, ha ha ha, eat it, you just have to find the way into the building. Okay. Well, that sucks. So I'm sorry, is is my is the fight here actually just to go deal with a whole gaggle of assholes? Because if so, then I'm not gonna lie, that's a pretty weak final fight here. Hey guys, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I'm definitely not corralling you, I'm definitely not looping you all into a big pile of asshole here. There we go, there's a bunch of you down. So now what? Do I need to get up to here? Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, that looks like it might be it, but first things first. There's ammo and supplies left around here. You know, I gotta say, I am actually kind of surprised at how close I got to death a few times just from enemy attacks. Yeah, I mean, when these things do a good 20 to 30 hit points plus per hit... Yeah, I I'm actually kind of surprised. Now, normally it seems like a lot of these games, they either, like, under-punish you, or they'll do, like, 5 damage per swack, or they'll do, you know, 50, or they might just even insta-kill you if they touch you. Which I didn't think was the case since the start, but still. Okay... Out here, weird crab person. Alright, Flamethrower is pretty underwhelming. Having now played with it a few times, but... I mean, it's not, like, terribly so. Just enough so that it's noticeable. Ooh, dynamite. Don't mind if I do game? Okay. Why do I need dynamite? Why am I... Why am I being given dynamite? What are you going to have me do? Is it going to turn out that I'm infected or something? So, Oh, you're going to have me blow the door, aren't you? You're going to have me blow open the escape hatch. Also, I do appreciate the fact that there is like this really dramatic music playing. But it is also uh, kind of odd to experience during this. Yeah, when I'm... Basically safe? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna get out trusty the AK here. Also, this definitely doesn't feel like music that should be playing at like the heroic ending as I get rescued. After the report and provided evidence of the incidents on the station Antarctica 1, the decision to shut down all of the research was accepted. On February 7, 1988, an emergency meeting of the UN Council was convened. Council members unanimously voted for the destruction of the station. 
All data received from the expedition of Efimov were now classified. His son was the only survivor and he took part in the destruction of the station. On February 11th, 1988, Antarctica 1 was under underwent a nuclear strike that destroyed everything within a radius of 15 kilometers. So we actually did nuke Antarctica, okay. Alright, and I got the good ending. The entrance to the dungeon was explosion, the lab exploded, and I collected 6 out of 8 notes. That is surprising. I feel like I was pretty good at exploring, but... I don't know, maybe a couple little uh, nooks away. But yeah, that was Antarctica 88. Developers, really good job here. You had a really fun core gameplay loop, and you didn't overstay your welcome. Couple of things I'd like to see done differently. Um, I'd like to see some cleanup on the controls. So, like, specifically the weapon control stuff. I think one always was the pistol, and one... It felt like there should have been, like, a clean list of, like... From one to whatever, you know, pist from axe to pistol to shotgun to rifle to flamethrower, so on and so forth. Um, and then just the the sections with the the snowmobile were just a little iffy to me, but yeah, this was really fun. I had a blast playing it. Definitely recommend check getting this for a couple of bucks if you can on sale. And I'm looking forward to checking out some of the other stuff these guys have made. Like I said, I think they made the Horror Tales franchise. So if you guys know anything about it. If it's good, feel free to let me know, I might pick it up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like or leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about Antarctica 88. Yeah, well, if there's anything you know about this game, like was this a mobile port? Because it kind of felt a little bit like a mobile port, but... Yeah, if you guys know anything about it, feel free to let me know, or anything else that these guys have done. I'd love to get your guys' opinions on the game overall. And if you're new to the channel, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. And for everyone else, thank you very much for watching Antarctica 88. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.